Welcome to the first of our how-to episodes from Panasonic Pro AV. In this episode, we'll be looking at our state-of-the-art auto tracking software and covering what it is, how it can be used, and where it can be downloaded. So how do we download this amazing piece of software and how do we start using it? First, I'm going to Google Panasonic Pass, and this is our one-stop shop for everything Panasonic Pro AV. For auto tracking software, I'm gonna hit the software download tab, and we have an array of different Pro AV softwares that are either free or can be trialed. And in this one, we want to download the SF100 auto tracking software. So what's the difference between SF100, the PC-based, and the SF200 server-based tracking solutions? The SF100 can be downloaded onto a PC that I have here in the studio, and this can control one camera at one time. If we want to control up to four cameras, we want the SF200 software. This can be downloaded onto the server, then we can configure the performance of the cameras and the amount that we need to track, depending on the server specs. For SF100, which I've now downloaded onto my PC and installed, I can then open the software. We are then greeted by this auto tracking GUI. To begin adding cameras, I can hit the top left and there's already some that I've already pre-designated. Because we can control only one camera, we can switch between which camera we want to control. So here I have now added the AWUE150 using the inbuilt network search adapter tool. Once complete, I can then go back to view and then I can begin looking at the tracking process. We can also use the software as a PTZ controller. So we have our PTZ controlling functionality up here where I can position the camera. I can then assign JPEG presets inside. So if we want to line up a stage, for example, where the presenter will be. And then in the bottom right, I can also change different camera elements to make sure we're getting the best picture quality for the tracking. The tracking is very clever as it's just using the IP stream out of the camera to perform. So we're just using an ethernet cable connected to the cameras and the network, taking that video feed and then using the performance of the PC or the server to make the tracking happen. To actually set up the tracking, we have our different elements in the bottom window here. What's very intuitive about this software is I can actually apply some facial recognition. It's not necessarily needed to get started as the software is predominantly motion detection based. If I hit tracking start stop now, I can actually move around inside the studio and then the camera is now tracking me. If I want to enhance the tracking functionality or I want it just to track me if there's a second speaker next to me, I can actually add in a picture from the camera by looking at it, selecting and applying my name in which now I've added a third face. So this can then have a database of faces that you can quickly activate and it is all stored locally on your machine. So it also takes care of security privacy concerns as nothing goes online. Now, if I want to select my face, I can quickly simply do this. I could also use the auto face search, which would then recognize my face and apply it to continue tracking. And now I can continue to move around the studio and it's still tracking me with even more accurate detection. We can then also calibrate this tracking performance to be even better and enhanced. So we could apply things like pan tilt limitation to make sure the camera doesn't go up and down if it is on a stage. We can also apply side limiters. So if the presenter then walks off, the camera can then reset to a preset position that we've already assigned. So it's waiting for the next speaker. We can then also change different zoom ranges. So if we want a wide, a close or a head and shoulder shot, we can apply this so that when a speaker steps onto stage, the software then zooms in automatically and begins tracking. This is all completely configurable inside. And we also have even more enhanced features inside here, like when we open the software to begin tracking, which preset it should move to, and also what sensitivity level it should be on, depending on the lighting conditions. Target position set means we can also off-center the software so that if we have a board and shot and there is a speaker presenting, that it is always in and tracking off-frame. Now we've calibrated the PTZ ready for optimal auto-tracking settings. Finally, we're going to look at the performance of the auto-tracking software, going back to our settings and looking in the tracking tab. Here we're greeted by three different options, template matching, deep learning CPU, and deep learning GPU. So what is deep learning? To put it simply, deep learning is a process in which we can use the CPU processor of a PC or server or the GPU of a PC or server. And what that means is we can increase the performance of the auto tracking on the presenter, meaning we can get even better frame accurate detection. So with this big increase in processing power, we would always advise the GPU processor if you're looking for the best performance in your auto tracking software with your Panasonic PTZs. 
SF100 and SF200 is available for a 90 day free trial at the time of this recording, and it's compatible with our complete Panasonic PTZ lineup. So we highly encourage that you download the trial software, have a play, and see the amazing benefits of this unique software. Thank you very much for watching.